Hi there, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Ines Benvenuta Kozi, and I will be providing you with information about online work and online opportunities that can benefit you as an African and most especially as a Malawian. I apologize, my office is a little bit noisy, so you might, you know, um, hear some cars passing by. Uh, it's extremely noisy, but I am hoping you're able to hear me fine. So anyway, I know most of you are interested to know what freelancing is, uh, how I got started, and what can you do to benefit as well. So before I give you the tutorials, I wanted to more or less walk you through the conversation that is freelancing or a business process outsourcing. So I was once a student living in the UK once upon a time, and I happened upon freelancing because obviously uh, of the visa restrictions that an, uh, an international student has uh, when you live in the UK. So at the time, I think it must have been around 2006 when I played around with the idea of freelancing and what we were doing back then was just to uh, contribute to um, write a written material. So you would have a website looking for people to submit you know, written document, written material, um, either a blog, a story or whatever they required. And so you would get paid at the end of that. Um, it was, it was a very good way of making money. However, when I came back from the UK uh, around the 2012, 2013 uh, period, I tried to look for ways of, you know, still earning money as a freelancer. It proved difficult because I didn't have a way of accessing my, my salary once paid because at the time we didn't have MasterCards in Malawi, I assume. It, could be that we had them, I just didn't know that we had them, but it, it was very rigid for me to do so. So I remember in 2014, uh, one of the owners of Beehive also wanted, you know, was very interested to have us um, more or less create uh, a BVO that was uh, in line with providing data entry work to uh, companies in the US. This was right after we had done a project, a business process outsourcing project with uh, companies like TNM, I think, or IBM, uh, and several others. So um, in, in, in a nutshell, business process outsourcing, outsourcing by its definition is when you, uh, because in a company you have core uh, business functions and then you have you know non-core business functions that are just supporting roles that you have in a company to ensure that a company is able to produce. So the core function is what is what it is that you do. That is the core function. So for example, um, the core function for uh, telecommunication companies is to provide you know, uh, services like internet or the phones, et cetera. Having an accounting team or having uh, an administration team is not their core business. They're not in that business to look after those people, but those people are necessary. So uh, some companies, especially outside of Malawi, have realized that it's cheaper to have other companies just concentrate on providing those services so that they concentrate on the services that they need to provide to customers. So for example, they would have a team of virtual administrators working from a different location, from a different country even, uh, but still able to provide them with you know, that support for them to, uh, to manage to offer their core business to their customers. Or they would have a team of accountants. I think in Malawi, we have companies like KPMG who offer accounting uh, services, you know, auditing services externally of uh, companies. So you have such scenarios called business process outsourcing in a nutshell. So uh, with Beehive, we also had something similar. We were doing data entry for like TNM and we did for OIBM for their KYCs. So that, that initiated my interest again into freelancing. But however, I still did not know how I was going to approach it because I still could not link my account in Malawi with my accounts in the US. 
for example. So I kept playing around with the idea of how am I going to do this? Because I know the potential I have working online and I know how much money I make normally working online. So um, eventually uh, in 2020, I discovered that National Bank had MasterCards. It was the best day of my life when I did that. So I went back online and at this time, Upwork had started offering services in 2013. And Upwork is the largest, is the largest freelancing platform and the, the safest, pretty much the most efficient, I think, and user friendly for someone who wants to try something out. So I, I went on Upwork and created a profile. I also went to several other platforms like Fiverr, freelancer.com, and so on to create my my profile. I think I, I, I may have just created quite a number of profiles, but I concentrated all my efforts on Upwork. I'll tell you why I did that. So in everything I do, there's always a strategy attached to it. I don't just do things in a crazy way, just, oh, I wake up today and then this is what I'm going to do. That's not me. I always strategize on what I want to do because then there's an end goal that I want to achieve at the end of that exercise. So because I'd been a freelancer, I still took my time to understand Apple very well before I engaged, you know, uh, customers, or even before I created my profile, because I wanted to understand um, who are the, the most performing uh, people on Upwork, and how could I uh, imitate what they're doing so that I'm also one of those people. I'll get to that in a minute and why it is extremely important. So anyway, uh, I created my profile, and uh, I believe the second day after I had created my profile, I got a job uh, for $5. This was somebody asking me to read a script they had written and they wanted to just find out if it sounded okay. Um, so then I just, I, it took me about a minute or so <laughs> just to go through that document and then tell them that, yeah, I think it's brilliant, it's fine. And, you know, I would just change maybe this particular angle and then it would be fine. So after I did that, he gave me a review. I will continuously explain why it is important to get a review and why I started out with the lowest type of job I could find. Again, working with a strategy. So my strategy was that I discovered that reviews were more important than money on Upwork. Reviews should be your target when you start out on Upwork. Getting reviews is the most important thing you can do as a freelancer to set yourself up as someone that companies can approach and trust that you will um, uh, provide them with a lot of you know, good work. So the way a review works is that when you do something, when you um, complete a task or a job or a project, the person who is going to pay you for that project, if they are happy with the performance, with the deadlines that they gave you, with your communication to them back and forth on how the project was going on, if they are happy with that, you did not give them a headache, they will give you a review. Normally it ranges from one star to five stars. Five stars is what you should aim to have from anyone that you work with. When you have five stars, the more you have those five stars, the more they show on your profile. And it gets to a place where uh, it, it, I will demonstrate, I'll show when I'm demonstrating how to create a profile, I will, I will use parts of that video, uh, you know, demonstrating from my profile, what are important elements of creating a profile so that it shines and, you know, employers take you seriously. So, my second job, again, was also something so simple. It was just helping a disabled uh, gentleman uh, in the US study for his test. And we studied for, what, four weeks? And I was, I was reading books on so, social uh, studies and understanding about, you know, ancient America and all kinds of things and, you know, so 
uh, trade and how it got to being what it is now and, and so on and so forth. Um, and then after that, we sat down for an exam with him uh, because he has memory problems. So he, he, he was finding it challenging to um, consume a lot of information. So I was there to assist him with that and to try and get him ready for a test. Um, he passed and then he gave me, you know, several glowing reviews because uh, he, he got my services twice. I remember that. So the first time I think he paid me like $50 and the second time again, he paid me $50, but he added $20 for a bonus because I've done such a good job. Um, again, it goes back to the review. So now when I had three reviews from three contracts that I'd done, I was ready to then look for marketing or customer service or sales uh, or jobs that are in line with my qualifications because I'd had reviews, because I was able to demonstrate to employers that you can trust me with your work. Most people don't really care to see what sort of job you did to get a review. All they care about is somebody looked at your performance and they were confident to give you a star rating or five star rating for that performance. So then they would understand that if they gave you uh, their work, you would also put your heart into it in that manner. This is one thing that I'll keep saying to you guys. We are not only representing ourselves on platforms like Upwork. We are also representing an entire country. In Philippines, you will find when you go on Upwork that some of the jobs are specific for people from Philippines because people from Philippines are efficient. When they're given a task, they go hard on that. They put their heart into it, 100% performance. And so they have created a reputation as a nation that they're very good. And so you find that a lot of companies will literally create a job vacancy and say, I'm only looking for people from Philippines. They're efficient, they know what they're doing, they've got training. For me, as Ines, you know, I want for us Malawians to get to that level. And I am going to give myself uh, the task of training people in some of the jobs that are readily available on Apple, like data entry, like sales, like customer service, like appointment setting, virtual assisting. So that even if somebody doesn't have work experience, they've never you know, done any kind of work in their life, they're still able to get something on Upwork. That's my goal. That's the task that I've set myself up. I'll start with universities in Malawi, churches. If you have a church and you want me to talk to you guys on, on Zoom or whatever, we could make that arrangement. If you have a university and you again you want for me to train you know students at that university to get them to that level, talk to me. I'm more than happy to do that. But my point is we should get to the point where labor in Malawi is one of the you know services that we are offering as an import so that we are able to get forex in return, so that we're able to have low unemployment rates. This is very important. We are all struggling with fuel. I mean, come on. We've parked our cars. Now we're using public transport. I literally, I laughed yesterday. I was in a bus with a guy who works for me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, if you are going to be here and we are here and we are all struggling together, this is serious. So from um, a Malawian point of view, and I am very passionate about this country, I am beginning to worry about where we're going. And I, I rather be the change that I want to see instead of just sitting on my hands and complaining and oh, the sky is falling, oh, the sky is falling. No, that's that's not my attitude to things, problems. I, I rather want to be a, a problem solver and you know a solution type of person. So uh, if you if you would join me in this in this crazy crusade to make sure that we have you know, at least 1 million, or let's start with 100 for now, yeah? Let's take 100 people. Let's have 100 people uploaded on Upwork. Let's have 100 people trained to the best of their abilities. And then let's have 100 people earning. And I will help you through that process. And I am doing it for free because I am looking at the environment that we live in and it's not okay to be living in this environment. We need to do better as a country, as a, as a people. 
So for me, I would rather if there's a problem somewhere that we can find a solution for, I would rather go out there and help find that solution. So this is the reason why I created these tutorials. This is also the reason why I've taken it upon myself to offer my time, you know, to a lot of people who can benefit. Uh, most times when I'm being serious, and by then I mean, if I pick up jobs that are in line with digital marketing. So for the last two, three years, I've been a student. I've been doing CIM, you know, my, my MBA and that. So it's taken a lot of my energy. So oftentimes I'll pick um, sales jobs that I, 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 I do without even thinking because I've always been a salesperson. I started working in sales when I was a teenager. So um, if, if I pick up a sales uh, job on, on, on Upwork, it's something like somebody's going to give me a script and I'm going to go over that script. Hi, hi, this is Ines. Are uh, you looking for this particular product or are you looking for that particular product? That's very simple and mundane that I don't have to think about. Uh, so I would pick those type of jobs. If I pick such type of jobs, I can make around 1.2, 1.3, um, 1, 1 million 300,000 Malawi kwacha, which is 1,300 US dollars. If I'm doing digital marketing work, which uh, I've done on occasion, especially on projects, I can make above 2 million Malawi kwacha if I'm doing, you know, digital marketing. And this is part-time working a few hours. So I know that um, if, if then now I decide to take it a little bit more seriously and release some of my time to concentrate on, um, you know, reaching out for jobs that are a little bit more demanding because the higher, um, the, de the more demanding a task is, obviously, the more pay you get. So I would like to get to, you know, that level where I can earn $50 an hour and so on, and then move forward with that. So I was waiting for my qualifications to be sorted out. They are more or less now. So I know in, in a month or so, I will start being very aggressive on upward. But never mind. How much can one person earn on upward? Uh, I've given you an example of a task that was worth $5. Now, those tasks are what we call the tasks that will just give you reviews. Those tasks do not matter. But an actual job that would normally say that, oh, more than 30 hours you know, a, a week, which is like the 40-hour job. And 40 hours, that's your normal nine to five type of thing. That's, it. that's like the normal hours of how you're supposed to work. So if you have a job that allows you to earn, you know, to work 40 hours a week and you earn at the end of the month and you have no qualification, so this is entry level, you could comfortably earn between $500, which is 500,000 Malawi kwacha, to around uh, 1,000 uh, US dollars, which is 1 million kwacha. You can, depending on how you have strategized yourself on upward. Strategy is extremely important. If you do not strategize, you will not succeed. I've had a number of people here when I announced this tutorial saying that, oh, I created an, a profile on Upwork last year and I haven't done anything on it and I haven't you know, gotten any clients. It's because they didn't have a strategy. So this is why the tutorial is extremely important because I could just tell you guys to go on Upwork and, you know, good luck with that. But you will not succeed because there's, there's, there's algorithms in play. There are strategies that you need to apply so that you get the jobs quickly. If you give yourself one month to pick up the review type of jobs that will help you uh, create a powerful profile, by the next month, you should be able to get a long-term job. And this is like a full-time job that can give you work for the next five, 10 years sort of thing. You can do that, but it's strategy. You start from, even if you have a PhD today, you will start from entry level, picking up entry level jobs so that somebody can give you a review. Because reviews are important. Reviews tell employers that uh, this is a trustworthy person. And the more reviews you get, the more Upwork grades you. So for example, you start out as a nobody on Upwork. When you accumulate a lot of reviews, 
it 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 somehow triggers your job success score which is how they will grade you against the jobs that you have done so for me i'm always at 100% job success score because i've always completed my tasks on time and have you know delivered things as i promised that i would deliver things and i haven't given my employers any headache so my job success score is always 100 which then triggered Upwork to give me a rising talent badge. I got the rising talent badge, I think six months into creating my profile in 2020. Now the rising talent not only uh, is triggered by the job success rate, but it's also triggered by you making your first 1 million on Upwork. So as soon as you hit 1 million and you have uh, consistently carried out 100% job success rate on your, on your tasks and you've had brilliant reviews, you are given you know, rising talent status. When you work with rising talent status for a number of projects, especially long-term projects, you've hit a year and so on, and they realize that you're consistent with your performance, you're not giving anybody heck, you are really and truly dedicated. Upwork rewards you with a top rated uh, talent status. This is where I am at now. I'm a top rated uh, talent on Upwork. There are so many perks. Apart from you get your salary a whole lot easier, there are so many perks. I get uh, jobs to my email address instead of me looking for the work. They come to me because I'm a top talent and everybody wants to work with me that way. So your strategy would be the first month that you start you know, on Upwork, get as quickly. You will find there's somebody advertising that high. Could you take, um, there was a, actually laughed the other day. Somebody was advertising for um, a job about recording a one minute joke. And these jokes are the ones that you find online. He just wanted somebody to record the jokes for his uh, website. So you would literally record the job, get $5, and then have five star reviews. And, and he was advertising that for days, yeah? So if I was new on Upwork, I'd be interested to get that type of job so that I could get the review. You also get somebody saying document uh, uh, verification. So they, like a university would ask you, oh, could you go to this university, maybe Malawi Health Sciences or uh, College of Medicine, there's a student from there who is applying for some work in Dubai or somewhere, and we just want to verify that they're a student from there. Can you take this, print it off, have them sign and put a stamp on it and bring it back and I'll pay you $50 or $100. This also happens. And these are the type of jobs that if you're starting out on Upwork, you target those jobs because you want to get the review. The review is more important than money when you're starting out. Please repeat after me. The review is more important than money. When you start out, you want to have a five-star rating at every tiny task that you've done on Upwork. For me, I targeted myself to having three tasks. I wanted to have three five-star rating uh, reviews on my Upwork before I could go further. Because then as soon as I did that, it, the system completely changed. You know, employers were able to respond to me quickly and everything. So that's, that's where you want to get at. When you get to the three five-star rating reviews, you can do anything now you want to do on Upwork as a freelancer. Then you can look for jobs that are along the lines of your qualifications. So start small, whether you are a PhD holder, whether you have all of these fantastic qualifications, trust me, start out by doing the most mundane and tedious and really uh, boring type of tasks just so you get a review. So you're taking that task because you know 100% you will get a review and it'll be a five-star review and you give it your best shot. So in that month, if you have a Malawian accent, in that month, that gives you time in that month for you to work on your accent. I shared two links on my Facebook page, one for women, one for men. It is extremely important for you to sound educated. It's extremely important for you to, to sound um, to sound 
of a of a higher class. It's it's really important, and you can learn to do this. It you can't you should never ever ever imagine that nothing is impossible. I just told you Nigerians have the the most rigid of accents. But a friend of mine from Nigeria, he's my colleague. I work with him. He sounds British, and he has never been to England. But because he put his heart and soul into it, he changed his accent. It's very possible to change your accent. You don't even need to go to school. Download YouTube tutorials. And for me, I always say that you should find 1,000 kwacha, put it in your phone, buy the Airtel bundle or the TNM Bamba bundles, the, 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 you know, the, the more fire type bundles. That will last you for a while. That would get you to download a lot of things that you need uh, on YouTube. So for now, for starters, the one thing that you desperately need is to fix your accent. It, it goes, I, I literally had somebody uh, call me the other day, last week, and say, I'm looking for someone to work with me. I chose your profile because you sounded British. And I know, uh, because it's, uh, he wanted for me to work with him in real estate, and real estate people in the US are rich people. So they're rich older people. So he said, they would be very interested in your accent and you find that you'll be selling a lot more in real estate uh, because of that accent. That's what he said, I kid you not. Unfortunately, I don't have time in my life to take his task on. So I said no to that offer. But this is how things work. You can change the way you, I, I, had, I had a person give me their video uh, two, three days ago. And I said, hi, can you go on YouTube and find out pronunciation for two words? Find out pronunciation for management and find out pronunciation for something else. He went and he came back and he did an excellent video by just changing those pronunciations. So I'm not wanting for you to sound all kinds of forced, no. But for you to enunciate your words so that they come across very clear, it also gives you confidence. You want to be confident. Remember, these people are not your Malawian HR people. These people are either from the US, from Australia, from Australia, sorry, from UK, from Europe and Arabic. There's a lot of employers from Dubai. They do not have time for you to be lacking in confidence. So you need to bring your A game. 100% and follow through with everything that I tell you to do in the tutorials. Because at the end of the day, it will make a difference between you getting a job and you not getting a job. Somebody said on Facebook that, uh, is this something like AIM Global so easy and whatnot? I said, no, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy if you don't want to listen to what I say. It's going to be easy if you apply exactly what I tell you to apply. And if you do exactly what I tell you to do. If you go on Upwork, you'll find that there are quite a number of Malawians that created profiles that did not do anything with those. I think there should be 50 or 60 profiles that, you know, they just created and they didn't do anything with them. And yet I am a top rated talent on the same Upwork from the same country which means it's possible, it's doable. I'm a girl, come on. Uh, if I can do something, you all can do it. So if, if I can do it and I do it really well, you all can do it. All you need is to apply yourself, but also to understand that presentation is important. Some of us are just untidy with our work, with everything. Presentation is key because we are representing not only ourselves, we're representing a whole entire nation. So I wish you the best of luck during the tutorials. If you have any questions, you have my WhatsApp number. I'm one of those people that don't mind answering relevant questions, but the key word is relevancy. Uh, whatever you are talking to me should be related only to the topic of what we're talking about now. I, I, I really don't want for people to start asking me for, for, uh, for aid and or for money, for whatever. I, I really don't want for that to be happening or for someone to want to be my friend somehow. Uh, no, let's not waste time. I, I, I want for us to be serious with the, what we are trying to do. So it, I, I normally sleep around three o'clock at night and I wake up around six. So if you have a question, you know, on, 
text me on WhatsApp. If you're not sure about some, even if you just want me to re evaluate your, your profile and see if everything is okay after you've had the tutorial, I really don't mind. You know, that's the whole point why I'm here to help. Yeah, but it should be only and only about Upwork. That's all I'm going to be doing. Otherwise, let's get started. <laughs>